Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today we're gonna to be making a turmeric infused facial wash. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love to use turmeric in a variety of my skin DIY projects. I use turmeric in my DIY skincare formulas for a variety of reasons, but mainly it's a very effective anti-inflammatory. It's got a ton of anti-inflammatory properties to it. So it does help to reduce redness and irritation on the skin, which does help to even out your skin tone and give you a healthy glow. It's also full of antioxidants, which is great for skin repairing and healing. And it does help some people with the reduction of dark marks on their skin. So the, today's face wash is going to have those properties in it because we are going to be infusing in some turmeric. We're also gonna be infusing some pomegranate fruit into this face wash, which I know you guys are probably super intrigued by because I get asked a lot about how to add fruits and such to your facial washes. And today I'm gonna to show you a special technique and how to do that. And I'm super excited because we're gonna be using pomegranate fruit. We're also gonna be using some lovely essential oil and some skin soothing additives like Allentoin. So I cannot wait to share this with you. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my step-by-step -step process of how to put together this beautiful facial wash. And if you would like the full written recipe with percentages and a full written tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this recipe along with two and a half years of archived recipes for just one small $5 pledge. I'll go ahead and leave the link to my campaign in the description box. So if you're interested in that, please head on over there and check it out. In addition to the recipe and tutorial tier, there are several other tiers to take advantage of if you're interested. We offer things like live monthly hangouts, live classes, monthly gift packages, and coupons to my favorite suppliers. So I really hope you'll, in this new year, go ahead and check it out. We've built a lovely community over there. All right, let's make some turmeric face wash. Okay, so first things first, this recipe has a couple different phases to it. So the first phase we're gonna be working with is the water phase of this formula. And we're gonna start by pouring in some purified water into this glass beaker. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is just warm this water up slightly. And the reason we're warming up this water is because the next ingredient we're gonna be adding is Allentoin powder. And this is for used for its skin soothing properties. But I find that if you add it much above a half a percent, um, you're not gonna get total solubility. And so we're only adding in the Allentoin here at a half percent of the entire recipe. But I find it much easier to incorporate when the water's a little bit warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm up this water and then I'll bring you right back when we're ready to add in the Allentoin. Okay, so all we did was warm this water up for just about 20 seconds, and now we're ready to go ahead and add in the Allentoin powder. And I did pick mine up from Voyager Soap and Candle Company. And I'll put a link to where I got everything in the description box also. Okay. Perfect, and then we're gonna stir up the Allentoin powder and just get it completely dissolved into our purified water before we add anything else. I'm gonna continue to stir this and I'll bring you back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so our Allentoin is now all the way dissolved, so your formula right now should just look like plain water. You shouldn't see any cloudiness. And then we're gonna finish up with the rest of the water phase. So the next thing we're gonna be adding in is the pomegranate that I was talking to you about in the intro. So we're gonna be adding pomegranate infused glycerin. Now I made this using fresh pomegranate uh, fruit and I will go into great detail about how I created this. It's called a glycerite and basically uh, glycerites are common practice for people who practice herbalism and they want to draw the constituents or the really good ingredients out of an herb or a fruit. In this case, this is a pomegranate glycerite. So I will go into great detail about how I infuse this in the tutorial, but this is a self-preserved fruit and this is a great way to add 
fresh fruits to your products. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our pomegranate glycerite. If you do not have a glycerite or you have no intention of making one or you can't find pomegranates this type of, um, this in this time of the season or the year, you can just use regular glycerin. So we're gonna be putting this into the water. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and give this a good stir. Get that combined. Right now it's got a nice pink color to it because of the pomegranate, but that is not gonna stay. And you'll see that in just a second here. So the next thing we're gonna be adding in to the water phase is our um, turmeric. So we're gonna be using turmeric liquid extract. I also picked this up from Voyager Soap and Candle. It is super potent, but because it's already in liquid form and actually it's suspended and the extract is in propanodiol. So this is gonna add some nice skin conditioning and also humectant properties to the formula as well. We're just adding in a little bit. This is gonna be just added in. I've tried different ratios of this extract with this formula in my test batches and it really a little bit goes a long way. And that's all we're gonna be adding. And we're gonna be giving this a nice stir. Take a look at that beautiful color. And you're gonna see some color changes in this formula throughout this process, which I find very interesting. So, and I'll explain that to you when we get to that, to that point. So then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add in our preservative. Now we are using Liquid Germol Plus as our preservative because this is a broad spectrum preservative that is used for formulas that have a high water content, facial washes, shower gels, things like that. So we're gonna be going ahead and adding in our preservative now and getting it all mixed in. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our essential oil now before we put in the surfactants. I like to add the surfactants last because that's the piece of the recipe that's gonna give you the bubbles, the cleansing properties, and the foam. And if you add it in too early, we're gonna kick up more bubbles than I would like. So we're gonna go ahead and add in some beautiful lemon essential oil. This one is the Now brand that I picked up at my local health food store. Um, I think it's got a beautiful, sweet, kind of Meyer lemon smell to it. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and give that a good stir to mix and combine. Now, before the surfactants go in, of course, this oil is not soluble in the water. The oil and water don't like each other. However, the surfactants that we're using do have some solubilizing properties and at the amount that we've added in the essential oil, it will blend just fine as soon as we put in those surfactants. I just love the smell of that lemon essential oil. It's so bright and happy. And I think it's gonna go great with the um, turmeric and the pomegranate as well. Okay, so the first thing, the first surfactant we're gonna be adding in is some cocomidal propyl betaine, also known as coco betaine. And I'm gonna be adding this in because it's got kind of a naturally lower pH. It's a plant-based surfactant and it has really great foam and bubbles and lather. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our coco betaine. And this is gonna help also mix in that essential oil. Okay, and the next 
surfactant we're going to be using is one called coca glucoside and this is also a gentle plant-based surfactant it's got kind of a, a little bit of a thicker consistency than the coco betaine okay and then to the last surfactant we're going to be adding to this is decal glucoside decal glucoside is also a very gentle surfactant that is used in facial washes, shampoos, and things like that. So it's also a plant-based surfactant. So I think you guys are really going to appreciate the combination of surfactants that I've used here and how gentle they are on the skin. All right, and we're going to give this a good stir. And as you can see, my formula has turned a darker orange than it was before and as I stir it's kind of going back to like a medium shade of orange and that is because I'm changing the pH when I add in those surfactants the pH is going a little bit higher um, and then you'll notice when we balance the pH the color will be much lighter like a lemon yellow so I'm super excited to show you guys that okay so there's that and then we just have to do two more things before we bottle it up and what we're gonna do next is go ahead and add in the thickener okay so we're ready to go ahead and thicken up our formula as you can see it's water thin at the moment which is fine um, thickening up your liquid soap is optional however I like it because I just like the feel and the consistency of a thicker type soap it doesn't fall out of your hands super easily and you can kind of regulate easier what you're putting into your hand and using so today for our thickener we're using glucose D if you guys have been following me for a while you know that this is my most favorite thickener to use it adds conditioning properties to the liquid soap and it just is a very effective thickener and a little bit goes a long way. I did have it sitting in a hot water bath though because it is hard to incorporate cold. It's very, very thick and viscous. And if you add it in cold, it takes several hours to disperse. If you have it in a hot water bath and you add in little bits at a time like this, then it's much, much easier to disperse. So this product that we're using here is and as desired amount, meaning you put in little bits until you achieve your desired thickness. It does have a maximum usage rate. I think it's 8%. It might be, it might be lower than 8% actually. Um, however, I've never come close to the, the maximum usage rate on this thickener because like I said before, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add little bits of this to my formula until I get my desired thickness and then I'll bring you right back to show you the consistency. Okay, so we have reached the desired thickness here. I'll show, show you the consistency, I'll give you a close up on that. Um, I like mine to be kind of like honey and it just smells gorgeous, like sweet lemons. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last step here, which is to adjust the pH. I wanna go ahead and make this just a real friendly pH for the skin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a read with my pH reader. Okay, so we're just gonna take a quick read on this. I already know it's too high. Um, it's probably okay for a body wash. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my reader in there and yes I'm sitting at right around a 7.1 which is pretty much a neutral pH um, I want to bring it down a little bit lower for the face I want to bring it down closer to about a five and a half 5.5 or so so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of citric acid now this is the coolest thing once you see that pH start lowering this formula is going to turn light yellow so I'm gonna just put in a sprinkling of citric acid and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a read on it again after I get it all incorporated but 
I think it's so cool when the uh, color changes back to a bright yellow. So there it goes. Isn't that amazing? So cool. A beautiful bright yellow. So once I just mix this up a little bit more, I'm gonna take another read on the pH. But I just love that final bright yellow color. I'm just gonna make sure my citric acid is all mixed in. And then I'm gonna take another read here. Okay, it's sitting at roughly a 6.1 one so just a little bit more of the citric acid should do it so i'm going to go ahead and add that in and i'll bring you right back when the ph is all adjusted and we're ready to bottle up this formula all right we got that ph down to a right around a five which is perfect for the face so the last thing we have to do here is go ahead and bottle up our formula and I'm gonna be using a container that's new to me. I've been experimenting with it a little bit and I really am liking it, although it's a little tricky to um, put the caps on and off. These are airless pumps and I'll show you what the lids look like. This, this has a lid like on it right now, but basically it's an airless pump that sits on top of here. And as you pump, this piece pushes up. The, and then you use up all your product. So it's super sleek looking and I really am liking it. I got these from Berlin Packaging and they, I think, I believe they're right around four, four or five ounces. So we're just gonna pour it in. It's just that yellow color is so beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and place the lids on. Let's see if I can do this properly. I actually might have put a little bit too much in this one. I'll empty it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is kind of the best way that I've seen. Maybe you guys have a better way. They don't screw down. You have to push on the lid. And then I'll show you what it looks like when they're all capped off and I'll give you a little bit of a use demo. Okay, so there they are all bottled up in these beautiful little airless pumps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the top looks like. Super sleek. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that color, the natural color from the turmeric. And I did also wanna show you that the it does not stay cloudy like right now you see the little bit of cloudiness because of the bubbles and such that I've stirred into it however after it has a chance to sit for about 24 hours you're going to get a crystal clear beautiful yellow facial wash that looks like that see the difference all right let's go ahead and show you what this looks like in action okay so we're just going to go ahead and use one of these pumps so I can show you what they look like um, you're just gonna push a little bit, a little bit like that. You don't need a whole lot. And it pushes up the bottom until all the product is squeezed through. So there's no pump inside there to, to worry about. See that? They're just airless pumps, which is awesome. Okay, so once it's in your hand, you're just gonna use a little bit of water to activate the lather. And it just has a gorgeous, very hydrating, beautiful feeling to it. And you do want to make sure you disperse the um, the facial wash around. But look at that. It has a little bit of a, it's kind of hard to pick up because it's very faint, but it does have a little bit of a yellow twinge or tinge to the, to the facial wash. But it's just silky and very, very conditioning feeling. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really loving this formula. All right, everybody. Well, that concludes today's video on how to make a turmeric 
and pomegranate infused facial wash. I hope you really loved this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspired you. If it did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment or question below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining everyone.